this is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final, only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Lee Dixon. It's Real Madrid versus Barcelona. Well, hundreds of millions of people will be tuning into this one. Probably the biggest club game in the world. Pointed end of the tournament. Who's going to come out on top? Well, Derek, we're just about to find out. Very, very excited. Cristiano Ronaldo. really going out on a limb to suggest Real Madrid would make it to another Champions League final. No, absolutely not. When they start off in pre-season every year, they have targets, and one of these targets would have been to get to the Champions League final. There's no doubt about it. Expectancy levels are very, very high at this club. Well, many have remarked upon the hosts and their preferred style, which is one of high pressing and trying to get the ball back quickly. Lee, do you expect to see more of that in this game? Yes, Derek, high pressing is their game, but there is a risk attached to it. If the opposition break through that press early on, you can be left vulnerable at the back. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois, the Belgian, will be in goal. Toni Kroos plays with Luka Modric in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. This is what we expect from the Blaugrana. Piquet starts alongside Clément Langlais in the centre of defence. Ivan Rakitic plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And Luis Suarez will be the main striker here. Well, Aidan Hazard is such a watchable footballer and a nightmare for any defender with as low centre of gravity and incisive runs. It's probably safe to say he'll be a key figure, Lee. Well, a nightmare is the right word, Derek. He loves to play on that left-hand side and cut in on his favoured right foot. He just has a habit of finding pockets of space to operate in, though. And he's not selfish either. Contributes with lots of assists. It's going to be tough for that back line today, Derek, I tell you that. Barca making progress. What can they do from this position? Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. It needs an accurate cross. Now Casemiro. Modric. Here's Carvajal. Modric. Casemiro. And make no mistake, Lee, Real Madrid expect to progress to the knockout stages in every Champions League campaign. Nevertheless, every Champions League match, irrespective of the stage, is a special occasion involving the Merengues. Well, it is. They're football royalty, as they say. And uh, every time they take the pitch, they expect to win, let alone in the Champions League, La Liga, any competition they're in. And quite rightly so, because their history is really, really rich. Excellent block by Busquets. De Jong... Messi Griezmann a chance maybe from the wide position crossing opportunity insufficient guile on the crossing front you've got to say in possession Marcelo Modric Here's Carvajal, Modric, Cristiano Ronaldo, Casemiro, Marcelo, Azar, and Ronaldo prepared to fire. What a splendid volley it was, but denied by the frame of the goal. Well, he took the chance, didn't he? He swung his leg at it in a volley and he's hit the woodwork. Nelson Semedo.
so tight this game. Who's going to break the deadlock? Be brave, be a hero, take chances. Messi. Rakitic on the ball. Nelson Semedo has it. Messi. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Piquet. Ivan Rakitic. Lionel Messi. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Marcelo. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Modric. Hazard. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And the referee decided that intervention was illegal and cautionable. Oh, without question, it's not the best of challenges. Well, we can see he's not very happy, and I can't blame him for that, that's for sure. And now here's Aiden Azar. Gliding through the gears. And that signals the end of a tight, tense first half. We're still waiting, Lee, for someone or something to kickstart this Champions League final. Mm, not the best, is it? I'm thinking about my half-time cup of tea and my refreshments. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Lionel Messi. Sergio Busquets. Ivan Rakitic. Nelson Semedo has it. Rakitic on the ball. De Jong. Now Busquets. Jordi Alba. Yes, man. Lockley. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Now, can he deliver accurately? Across, lacking guile and accuracy. Now, Casemiro. Hazard. He's in control, Aidan Azar. The cross is on. Well, the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Jordi Alba. That is excellent pressure high up the pitch. Frankie de Jong. Lionel Messi. Rakitic. Messi. Nelson Semedo. Suarez. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. And a substitution in the offing. Piquet. Lionel Messi. Rakitic. Rakitic on the ball. Artur. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Ivan Rakitic. Really a very poor ball. Pressing as a team. Griezmann. Artur. Artur has it. Happy to take on the shot. And meat and drink to the goalkeeper. Well, Derek, just look at those stats. Not created enough chances. They really haven't. They need to up the tempo, put the pressure on. Then they should win this game. 
Well, certainly allowing their opponent. Nothing wrong with that idea. Griezmann on to Jordi Alba. He cuts it back. Getting in the way, Marcelo. The delivery, well, not quite. Isco has it. Inside the last five minutes, and nil-nil is still the situation. Isco. Barcelona have been awarded the throw-in. Now Griezmann, Artur, Sergio Busquets, Artur has it, Messi, Griezmann, Artur, Barcelona on the attack in the closing moments, still level here. Messi. turned onto the woodwork that is that after 90 minutes they are level and extra time is coming up This has the potential to stretch sinews and minds. Tiredness can be a factor as the first period of extra time commences. So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. Modric. Marco Asensio. Rafael Varan. Isco has it. Marco Asensio. And crossed in there. No spillage from the goalkeeper. Routine. Vidal. Vidal. Now here's Pique. Artur. Griezmann. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. The official word on the electronic board, one additional minute. And the first period of extra time comes to an end still level here can they overcome tired legs it's the second period of extra time underway now Artur Vidal Artur has it Sergio Busquets. The Blaugrana have given the ball away. Azar on the ball. Suarez. Artur has it. And that's an important intervention. Tremblay. Isco has it. Here's Carvajal. Marcelo. Valverde. Might really be able to trouble them here. And this could make certain for them. Superb piece of goalkeeping to prevent them from falling behind. Oh, top keeping that is. Top, top keeping. Well done. 
disappointed with the fact they haven't taken the lead, but he'd be pleased with the way they're playing. Cross towards that far post. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. There's so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. And it has all come down to this in the Champions League final. A shootout to determine the winner. And now it is all about the penalty shootout. Job done from the spot. Well, professional job, well done. Will he be able to keep the demons at bay? And just like that, he's come up with the save. Well, you have to have strong hands. And the penalty converts it here. Well, that's hours of practice, Derek. Hours of practice. Can he convert? Oh, he saved it. Well, the goalkeeper guessed, but he guessed the right way. Good save. It went awry for him from the penalty spot. Well, oh, he's missed it. Oh, close, but close isn't good enough, Derek. And now he knows what's on the line. If he scores, they win. And he's denied them from the spot. Oh, it's lovely goalkeeping, really is. It won't be lost on him. What's at stake here? He knows he's got to score. And he's tucked his penalty away, Lee. Well, he held his nerve. Simple as that. It all falls on his shoulders. If he scores, they win. He's gambled on direction and won. Well, he's got his angles right there. Just look at that for goalkeeping. And now it's his trolley final. One team in raptures, the other disconsolate. What an ending. Well, you can talk about the merits of penalty shootouts to decide big tournaments, big games. So much nerves are still needed. A little bit of a gamble here and there. Who's going to come out on top? Well, the end result is there for all to see. What a night. Uh, they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment for the losers. It's a case of trying to forget about everything that has just occurred. Now, just the point, Derek, always be respectful of the losers. Yes, you're in raptures, you're celebrating with your mates. Always took time to go to the opposition and say, unlucky. The party has started. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. And they know what comes next, the presentation of the cup with the big ears. Well, you just think how many games he played this season as well. All that's in the past now. The game that's just happened was the most important one. They're all poised. Champions League winners. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories.